In the previous videos, we talked about the advantages of using 11AC and how you can enjoy the fastest network connection. In today's video, we are going to see in real life how 11AC triumphs over 11N. What you are about to see is uncut footage of an ultra high definition video streamed to both 11N and 11AC. Notice that the video stream on the 11N network is starting to lag and has a jerking, jittery movement. Not only was 11N lagging, the turning of the plate stutters as the video has to buffer each new frame. As you can see, the 11AC has completed streaming while the 11N movie is still playing. Why spend time waiting for buffering and loading when you can spend more time watching movies? For those of you who use the latest phones, you might have 11AC built in too. Let's take a look at how they fare. Again, with 11AC, you enjoy a lag-free, smooth video compared to 11M. Well, this was a simple test to show you how much smoother your wireless connection will be with 11AC. For those of you who are into numbers, let's go into our test chamber for more detailed testing. Again, this footage is unedited. For 11N, we average about 120 megabits per second. Now we move on to 11AC. We can reach close to 400 megabits per second using 11AC. That's about three times as fast as N. For our final test, we will see how fast a mobile phone can go. As you can see on this mobile phone, we are first connected to an 11N 2.4 GHz network. A smartphone doesn't have as many antennas as a laptop usually, so with 11N, we reach an average of about 40 megabits per second. On an 11AC network, we saw a huge jump to an average of 180 megabits per second. That's still higher than 11N on the laptop. What we just saw was unedited footage of some simple tests we carried out in the office. You too can test for yourself. Upgrade your router to AC today and see the difference.